What's up guys? Alright, SS is back. And yes, I got my favorite hero. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 from the movie. I love this thing. Love, love, love it. It's amazing. No pun intended. Uh, first off, thank you to Anthony Sang. Uh, I took a chance. And I said, let me try this dude out. He's amazing. Every second... The communication was there. He would send me pictures. He even knew when the package arrived to my house before I did and told me so. So just a huge thanks. I mean, I took a chance. I ordered like 11 things off the dude. It's a lot of money. The prices were beyond fair. So check him out. I think he goes under Budget Stark. And I will definitely, definitely be doing business with him again. Thanks so much, Anthony. I appreciate it. All right, so let's check this out, guys. I'm so stoked to have this. All right, let's jump to the box and stuff. All right, guys. Well, here's the box. You can see it doesn't say Sideshow on it because I got this early from Hong Kong. Thanks to Anthony. So that's why it says Hot Toys Special Edition up here. The box pretty much a shoe uh, shoe box with a nice image of Spidey. You can feel a little bit of a difference on here compared to the rest. So you got some some lettering going on in the background. You got him in a cool pose. It's decent. I personally don't care about the boxes. They're like garbage to me because my shit's never for sale. I collect to keep forever. So. You got the side of the box there. Pretty much like uh, the first Amazing Spider-Man has that same uh, style of box. Got some writing there. On the back it's just the credits. Another more lettering there. I can't make out what the hell. I'm sure I'll figure it out later. What the hell it's supposed to say in the background there. It's some piece from the movie I'm sure. So that's pretty much it for the box. The inside is just clamshell. And when you open it up, you get this little piece that you get to look at first, which is pretty cool. Nice image, those big, beautiful spidey eyes. And that's it, guys. Let's check out the accessories. All right, guys, let's take a look at all the little goodies that uh, the Amazing Spider-Man comes with. So you can see over here, we get this new dynamic stand that comes with it. A little paper insert there. You got the usual name of the movie and the figure on the front. Just plastic. And you got the hole there to insert the nice big rod. This metal rod. Really strong. I'm sure you guys have seen them before now. Really easy to use. Just screw the bottom into the hole. Unscrew the top cap. Slide the holder on. And that's it, the little clamp part. Uh, you got his little vest that he came with, I mean, that he wore in the movie. And yes, the zipper is functional. It just, just like a real zipper. I haven't had any problems with it. Real nice. Probably kind of like what they're going to use for a uh, Back to the Future figure. See, it's got nice little detailing on it. Nice and cushy. That's it for that. You got his little scarf. Real nice and long. I'll show you guys later. Nicely wrapped up. Nice little details. Uh, if you get the exclusive, which is kind of a rip off in a way, you get this tiny little thing from the beginning of the movie. It's got a little switch on there. Nice little detailing. A little canister. They could have given you like three of these. Luckily I got three because I got three of the figure, but I mean, come on. All right, so that's that. Get the bullhorn over here. Real cool. Just like in the end of the movie when he's yelling at the, the rhino, which I love that scene because I was actually there for the filming of that. Loved it. You get his little hat, which I thought might be a bitch to get on, but it's not. It's nice and stretchy. And this part you could just fold whichever way you want. You do get what four webs, two just straight ones to pose him like he's swinging. 
and the other two with the tips on it suppose like he's shooting them but I never use these because they kind of go I used them on the black spider-man once and in like a month they look like a limp prick so I just wish they would make them a little more durable so you get that and as you can see right here you get a bunch of hands which is a new method that they're using it's got a little magnet in there pretty much they cut it at midway down the hand so it's got two pegs two peg holes right there just slip it right on and the magnets you will have to play with it because they might lose a little bit of shape so I had one of them that was kind of a pain in the ass to get on, but, uh, and as usual, Hot Toys, I have one right here it's from the other figure. You can see it's got two magnets on it because the fucking glue that they use just sucks. But that's no biggie. Just use some crazy glue. You see the detailing is really nice on these hands. I'll show you better later on. So you get two relaxed hands if I stop being clumsy two relaxed hands and they did a nice job they pretty much cut them right where the webbing is so it kind of, you gotta really look close to see where the the seam is two flipping hands and the detail is nice like this it's nice you could feel the the webbing it's really cool so two flipping hands, you got these, instead of that cool pose we used to have like this, like a claw, I guess you could use this to, when he's up against a wall, or doing like a crawling pose, you get two grasping hands, one for the bullhorn, and one to hold the web, just slide the web right in there pretty much, not all the way though. And you get two fisted hands which are on the figure so that's pretty much it for that uh, I did get this other insert with mine it's pretty cool if you want to switch it from this but I really like this one better actually thinking of getting this tattooed right here just like the Moto GP is either that or on my finger really love that so you could switch this out it's pretty neat Maybe I'll use it on one of the bases, but I doubt I'll be using more than one of the stands. So you can see the cool detailing, nice beautiful white eyes. And let me give you a quick look at the instructions, which is backwards for me, because they read things backwards. Uh, Alright, so you got over here, you could pause it if you want. Just telling you not to rub too much on the actual outfit. Big X. Do not try and pop the head off. Shows you the limitations of the hands and how to use them. Do not take the entire hand off, only the bottom part. Shows you what you can do with the rotation of the hand. And let's see, anything else? Yeah, here's a better look at how the hands work. These posts are metal. This whole piece is metal. It's really nice. But it does have some drawbacks, which I'll get to later on. The webbing, you can connect it to his little web shooters. Shows you the accessories. The bullhorn is kind of a bitch to pose in his hand. Like, it just... Uh, I'll show you guys later. And it tells you not to take the boot off, but then it kind of contradicts itself because it says, don't detach the boots with excessive force. Hence, telling you you can detach the boots but then it's telling you not to I don't know, whatever it shows you the range of degree that you can move those feet and that's pretty much it for the instructions so let's get to the figure alright guys let's take a look at this beautiful piece I'm so stoked for this fuck alright everybody who knows my channel knows he's my favorite favorite hero it always goes him Iron Man, Hulk, Deadpool, Wolverine, and Thor. So clearly I'm a Marvel guy, not really a DC. I do have a bunch of Batman and Superman, but whatever for them. This is Spidey. But, fuck, I just, I'm so happy I got three of these. I know most people, what the fuck do you need three for? Don't worry about it. It's my money. I get doubles and triples, sometimes even five of the same figures. It's just my thing. 
I've always been like that, so just do what the fuck you want with your money. Uh, Alright, let's take a close look at this beautiful piece. I'll do a... Uh, I don't want this video to go too long, or it probably will. But I'll do a comparison in another video with him, the Medicom, and the Tobey Maguire ones. But this video will just be about him. So you can see... Oh my god, this suit is beautiful. It does have some drawbacks though. And I'll go into that later. But you can see here, they did a sweet, sweet job with the head. The eyes. I am not one who's like, oh, it's an inch, centimeter, too fucking small. This is good enough for me. I can't sculpt so much as a fucking button or a fucking toenail. So, I will pay the price for this. It's my money and I think it's art. Some people collect fucking teapots. I collect this shit. So, do what you want with your money. And... I really usually don't have many complaints with these things. I see what I'm getting. They show you pictures and usually they're, they're spot on. So I wish I had the room for statues, but I don't. I mean, I barely have the room for all of these fucking things. I got so many. Uh, all right, let's check it out. So you can see pretty much it does have some detailing deep in there. If you see the top of the head, it's got the little honeycomb patterns. You can feel the webbing. It does stand out. And just like the last one, you can see the seam, but until they figure out a better way, we're stuck with that. The eyes. I don't know how it's coming across in the camera. They do look kind of white. I mean, they are white, but not as bright as in the movie. There goes a fucking helicopter. Fuck the day from hell, motherfucker. So, the eyes. They're just... They are white, but they're kind of also grayish, but they're still sweet. You can see the nice detailing in there. All along the spider, you can feel it also. It does stand out. The body on this one, compared to the first one, it might be the same thing, but this was definitely taller. Look at that beautiful detailing in there, all the way down. I know most people like this look better compared to the last one. I'm, fuck, I'm happy I got two different looks now. It makes me happy. He does have big fucking feet. And I will give a word of warning. Anthony is so cool. Even before the figure got here, he told me, send it back to me if you have any problems because he went to Hot Toys to pick up some other stuff. And they said they're are some with some problems on the head some bleeding now I do have two of them are pretty much perfect one of them this one kind of had it but I don't know now I'm not seeing it it depends on the lighting the one with the hat over there it does look like someone like when you get ink on your finger and then you smear it on a tissue you got that little ink spot it kind of has it I'll show you guys later so just be warned Hopefully they'll fix that, but it's not enough to bother me. Gives him character, and I love him. Fuck it, he's going to have the hat on anyways, but I'll show you guys. So that's pretty much the suit. You do have some detailing on the bottom of the feet. It's just amazing. And the back on this one does look a little bit better, because the other one you could definitely see the cut of where you get the articulation. And... Another thing I want to point out, this one, he's got a lot of padding, especially right here. You could feel the padding. You can see he's nice, bulky up there. It does, oh, there goes the bullhorn. Over here also feels like they filled it in with some extra padding so you can't see the cutout of, for where the articulation goes. So that's cool. Let me show you real quick. Let's see if I get the detailing of web shooter so you could see it there pretty nicely they did a cool job it's nothing special just a little plastic piece with some coloring it's nice though it's movie accurate and see you could see right there the seam where the hand detaches now the only problem I had when I first got it, I was oh fuck I can't get it on there tight enough but see you gotta really push see this one 
the seam, probably from the holding the bullhorn, it just, you get a little bit of a seam, but, eh, whatever. And you can see even on the plastic hands, you could see the honeycomb detailing in there. It's pretty cool. So let me show you quick how the hands work. So it just attaches, you got your magnet there, and this whole piece of the hand is metal with the magnet piece in there and two metal pegs. So you pretty much just line up the pegs and the magnet's strong. You can see when I let go, it just pulls it right in. And then you just fiddle with it to get it where you want. Maybe if yours is a little warped, just heat it up in some warm water. Get the the position that you want and put it on. That should fix it. So you got the padding. Feels like he's also got padding right here, which kind of is nice because on the other one, you could see the seam where you get the articulation once again. Man, these eyes are so fucking beautiful. So the head, you could see, I guess you could take it off, but I'm not gonna. I already have two of him, one in the, the suit and one like this. So I'll just leave him like that. I see no need to put Andrew Garfield's head on this. I do want to send one of them out to get maybe battle damaged, so... But it is just beautiful. The legs... No, there's no padding there. Maybe. There might be. It feels... It might just be the suit. Alright, let's get to the suit. So this... The head is no longer like the last one. Because the last one was some type of rubber or plastic. This one is like real material. Like the Tobey Maguire one. And you do get some good articulation. I'll go into the articulation later. But you can see, I'm only scared that this is going to droop later on. Give him that old man triple chin. Hopefully they glued it well enough. But you can see it is one piece. And it does move nice. Hopefully you yours is nice and tight. One of them was a little bit popped off so I just pushed it in and that fixed it they did do a beautiful job the spider looks beautiful you can feel the spider on the back as well so it looks like the red parts are material like normal clothing material and the blue definitely feels like some rubber plastic type material some spandex all of the blue feels like that which is what scares me. The boots, you do get a little bit of wrinkling there, but it futs with it enough and you could remedy that. I guess if you wanted to take the boot off, tuck it in a little bit more if you're so inclined, which I am not. So the inking I was talking about, the hand, I believe this is the one. I got a teeny little bit, you see that black ink on the foot there? That's kind of what is on the head, just not as dark. So, just a bit of warning. Uh, hopefully by the time they get to Sideshow, they'll fix that. But that really doesn't bother me. You're not going to look at that. Beautiful. The feet are fucking huge. He looks like Frankenstein boots on here. But that's awesome. So what scares me is this plastic. I wish it would have been more material like the Tobey Maguire. I have no problems with that. No matter what extreme pose, if you put them back in a neutral pose... The suit will go back to what it's supposed to be. Now, what scares me is, oh, another thing, just like the Superman figure, the, the latest one, he stands well. You're not going to need a stand for him. Uh, Alright, this is one of them. I have a bunch of these, but the other one, I had the other one posed. This is the original one. With the arm holding a cell phone to his head and after a while he'd been like that for like five months and I wanted to change the pose and just look at it and when I went to put it back this part of, suit of the suit got fused to that part of the suit so I was praying it wouldn't rip little by little I undid it and it had like this whiteness to it it went away luckily I caught it in time but it did scare the shit out of me so be careful because the blue part on him, it might do the same exact shit right at the elbow. See where it touches itself blue to blue? That might get fused. So just be forewarned. It's, it sucks because Spider-Man, you're supposed to, you know, 
what I love about him is the way he flows through the fucking city. He's like a fucking ninja with superpowers. I just love it. He's a wise ass, and I love that. Tall and thin like me, I'm a bit of a fucking wise ass myself. It's just, so just be forewarned. You can do wicked poses, uh, the hands. So remember, you cannot detach them all the way anymore, which is kind of cool because now it fixed the whole thing with the web shooters that didn't line up before. Now it just follows the direction of the hand. So that's cool. And But if you break that little fucking peg inside and if you're not a customizer, oof, you're fucked. So you can... See, you can move the the wrist like you want to, like spider but it's limited. Like, I wanted him in a flipping pose, and that's just not enough for me. Look, that's him standing normal. I mean, you have to angle the arm down. I wish it would go a little bit more. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky there, but just a little. And look, you can't make him do that angry when you're tilting your hand towards you you can't really see that's about as high as I can get it you can't really do it only the flipping and look that's about as most as you're gonna get which kinda sucks but I'll deal with it you're still beautiful uh no problems I've had with the shoulders that you got that butterfly movement right up here just be careful hold it up here don't fucking tear it up from there just bit by bit you'll feel it it'll go I'm not gonna go crazy with it but you can do some pretty cool poses you can see up there I got one arm all the way back so the shoulders yeah no problems with the shoulders just be careful though don't fucking get all stupefied and go crazy with it so that kinda sucks because you are limited in a way with poses because the suit's gonna do something you don't want it to legs uh, as far as splits I'm not gonna make mine do splits but yeah you got plenty of give there you got double jointed knees which are beautiful he kick himself in the butt that's pretty cool oh look see right there you see the leg it's starting to come apart there you could hear the suit, but you just mm, push up on it and it's fixed. You, it is pretty cool. You do get, it says on there, you get tar articulation, but it's not going to hold. The feet, you get about that much range of motion. You do get a bit of tipping the toe down. You do get ankle rocker though. Not a shitload, but... You do get some, and then just fix the socks later on. So that's pretty cool. Love it. The neck, you do, let's stand them up over here. Get them all nice and straight. The neck, feels like it's two pieces. So you do get great range side to side. And looking up, that's pretty damn good. Looking up, that big beautiful alien head. Looking down. He looks down pretty damn good. Looks good that they filled in with all the padding there. Pretty sweet. Elbows. You can see he can knock himself. Psh. You get double jointed elbows. The only thing I hate about their elbows is that big fucking piece. Why can't they just design it so that it breaks apart into like smaller pieces somehow? So you don't get this long ass fucking... Uh, definitely not proper anatomy look you know other than that you could uh, uh oh that's right you do get extreme ab crunch awesome you can turn them quite a bit you can see right there so that's pretty cool and then the suit you could just gently adjust it to whatever the hell you need it to be so that's pretty much it on articulation pretty damn sweet the butt looks a little better than the last one like I said uh, I'll do a review of all of them in a comparison in a different video don't want this to go too long but yeah fucking sweet beautiful 
glad I got three. So if you want, I doubt many of you are going to go for this look. I definitely am keeping him like that because that's how he was in a movie. So you can see the scarf there. Pretty beautiful little detailing. It's long, almost the length of him. So just wrap it twice, tuck it in or however you want to. This looks beautiful. I love the little vest. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. I totally forgot in the accessories because I had them uh, on him. The backpack. The backpack is fucking whatever material. Totally feels like a real backpack. It's beautiful, easy to use. I'm definitely going to put one on him and one on the other older Spider-Man since I got so many. The faux leather looks beautiful. It feels beautiful. The little clips there, you can undo it. And you can see on the inside, well maybe you can't. It's just got some little, there it is, that little white shit. Just a little bit of stuffing. Oh, it does have another zipper there. I don't want to mess with it, but you probably can unzip it. The little hat goes on easy. You just bloop. Uh, I would be scared though. Maybe I'll wash this just in case. I don't want it to stain his head. Let's take a look at that ink spot. I don't know if it's going to come on the cam through on the camera, but... At certain angles, he's got ink markings right here and there. You kind of see it a little. But that doesn't bother me. The eyes, look how beautiful they're sculpted. They do pop out a little bit. They're just glued on, I'm assuming. Or they go in a peg hole or something. The sculpt is just beautiful on him. He holds the canister pretty well. See the canister's got some beautiful little detailing to little red lights. I'm assuming they're LEDs and that top piece, hold on, let me grab another one. That top piece looks like a button. I love that scene in the beginning of the movie where he's trying to collect all these. So you can see it does have some really neat detailing going on. Bottom's just plain. The little clear piece does spin. I don't know if you could hear it. So that's cool. I do wish they would do away with exclusives. Just give everyone what the fuck they paid for. That I hate exclusive shits. I mean, I get them all anyways, but 99.9% .9 of the time, I don't use the exclusives. This time I will, because it's just holding one. But this... It's just fucking bullshit that it's an exclusive. Let's take a better look at the bullhorn. And yeah, it's got cool detailing. It reminds you of the one that we got with the original Joker. The Jack Nicholson one. Maybe it is. You know what, if you give me a second, I will go grab that one and compare it. Be back. Alright guys, here's the one that we got with Jack Nicholson. Uh, it is definitely not the same sculpt. This one has this lip on it. They are different sizes. One's a little bigger. The whole butt piece, the mouthpiece actually, is different. The handles, yep, the handles are different, different angles, different detailing. So it's not the same one that we got with the, the Joker. So that's that. And if you so choose, which is what I'm going to do, I probably, I was going to keep him like this. But since I have an extra two outfits of the vest and shit, I might take this jacket off and give him the vest and the hat. I wonder if that hat's even going to fit. I doubt it with that hair. Ah, maybe. But yeah, this is my custom... Peter Parker, got him his little camera, a skateboard, I used the gloves from the first one. Kind of dressed him like I would dress, except for the jacket, jeans, converse. And I love this look. The skateboard, just went to Toys R Us, they got those skateboards around. And that's it. I guess, I'm assuming you probably could put this head sculpt on the new one. Don't see why you would want to, especially if you only have one Spider-Man. I mean, I'd rather have Spidey looking like Spidey. 
but I'm definitely glad I got three of them. Maybe even pick up another one, do something wicked with it. But that's pretty much it with him, guys. Uh, Mikey, I know you like the first Spider-Man. You will definitely love this one. The figure is sweet. Uh, oh, let me show you guys the thing with the bullhorn. So this is the hand to hold the bullhorn. Once you can't put it like his finger all the way onto the trigger, because when you do so, it does start to. Fuck, hold on. It's kind of a bitch to do on camera. When you do so, it starts to pull the hand away at the seam, depending on how far down you go. So I pretty much have him holding it up to there. If you start going more, it'll warp the hand. And you see it starts, the more you put it on, the more it starts, there we go. You can see right there, it starts pulling it away. So don't go all the way down. I doubt you guys will be having a holding a bullhorn unless you got multiples like I do. But that's pretty much it. Love me, my Spidey. Mikey, I'm sure you'll love it. Ryan, spoke to you yesterday, you butthead. You will love it. Get it and get the Terminator. So guys, I haven't been reviewing for a while. Shit's been going on in my life. I don't want to come across in a review like I'm not happy with something. So that's why I haven't reviewed in a while. Still been getting everything and always will be getting so but i got a ton of stuff coming in uh i do have the new terminator i'm gonna review pretty much as soon as i'm done with this get the heartbreaker to review the robocop to review uh damn the silver centurion sitting there mark 42 loki thor holy shit i got so much to review and i'm in the mood to do it so oh van damme's coming in the new dreads coming in Fuck. All right. Well, stay tuned if you want. I will be doing those reviews within the next week, hopefully. Maybe next weekend. And, yeah, I'm back in the game to review. I missed it. It's fun as fuck. Do it for the love of it. Because I love these things. They're art to me. And get the Spider-Man. And, Anthony, once again, thank you so much. I will be doing business with you always. All right, guys, take care for now. SS out. All right, guys, sorry, before I go, from now on, I will have a new rating system. We're going to see if my three buddies like these figures, and they say yes. And my new three buddies is good old JC, Abbott Einstein, and Mr. Charles Darwin. And JC, my buddy, Buddy Christ, gives this a thumbs up. Charles loves it. Albert loves it. No, I'm not religious. I'm actually an atheist. But I love Kevin Smith. And this is Buddy Christ. And Buddy gives it a thumbs up. Alright? Buddy out.